Hello friends, this video on DNF Lock Elements Part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next is osmium. See osmium itself, osmium came from Greek word osme. In osme means smell. That means this metal must be smelling. Okay. So this osmium actually is mined from an ore called osmium tetraoxide. This osmium tetraoxide has a smell. Please note osmium doesn't have the smell. Osmium tetraoxide, the ore from which osmium was mined that had smell. Typically metals will not have smell. But yeah, the ores of the metals may have smell. Again, this is also my bluish white, lustrous, hard Please note this is brittle. Osmium is brittle. Okay. It has seven natural isotopes and uh, it has radioactive isotopes. Also, it was discovered in 1803 in London. And this is toxic also. Now, since it is hard and brittle, hard and brittle, so it is used in the fountain pen. nips or the tips I can say but since it is toxic nowadays it is not used okay it is also used in electrical contacts electrical fuses and other things it is used electrical contacts it is also used for processing platinum and nickel ores it is also used for finger print detection. There are a lot of uses of this element osmium. And again this is also P6, period 6. The next element is iridium. This is also hard, brittle and this is also silvery white. This is the second densest element after osmium. Please note, I forgot to tell this, osmium is the most densest element. It is the most densest element, the density is almost 22.6 gram per centimeter. This is the density, very very dense. Okay, Highest density 22.6 gram per centimeter cube and second to osmium the second uh, element with the second or the second densest element after osmium is iridium okay this is second densest element this is also corrosion resistant even at high temperature not attacked by acid even good part about iridium is even aqua regia which dissolves gold, right, will not dissolve iridium. It was discovered in 1803. And uh, this was discovered actually as an impurity in platinum. Platinum impurity. Okay, it was discovered as an impurity in platinum. Again, this is named after Greek goddess Iris. Iris is a rainbow god. It's a Greek god of rainbow. Okay, why Iris? Why uh, Iris only? There are so many other gods. The reason why um, it was named after Greek god of Iris. A Greek god of rainbow is because rainbow has colors, right? We all know. And this this uh, iridium salt had a lot of color. This has diverse colors. Salt has diverse colors. This salt, my iridium salt, has diverse colors. And because of this, it was named after the Greek god of it is also very rare metal on the earth right? 
because it is high melting point, boiling point, and the demand is more, it is costly. It has two stable isotopes and plenty of radioactive isotopes. It is actually superconductor. This is superconductor, but below 0.14 K. So below this temperature, this is superconductor. Okay. So if you talk about the uses of this, this is used for hardening agent in platinum alloy, and this is also used as gamma source. Gamma source and gamma source, gamma radiation source, and this gamma radiation source is used to treat cancer. Okay. This also was used earlier for fountain pen nip, but again, since it is very costly, it is no longer used. It's very costly. It is used a lot in the electronic devices. Why? Because see, it is a good conductor. Okay. The next is the platinum. You must have heard of this word platinum. This came from a Spanish term platino. That means little silver. And it is costlier than silver. Okay. It is dense. It is malleable, it is ductile, it is very precious. It has six naturally occurring isotope. It is again least reactive and that's why it is costly. Uh, it is used to make jewelry. Very, very least reactive. It doesn't react much. It is resistant to corrosion. It's costly and it's rare also. It is actually considered as noble metal. Why it is noble metal? Because it is not that reactive. Okay. And this uh, platinum actually occur in copper and nickel ore. So in these ores you find platinum. In fact, South Africa is the highest world producer of nickel. Uh, sorry, uh, platinum. It's eighty percent of the platinum produces in South Africa. Right? Not reactive. You don't need to form oxide layer itself because it is not reactive at all. Okay, it does not even react with hydrochloric acid or nitric acid. But similar to gold, I, we say gold and platinum almost they are similar. Similar to gold, this also dissolves in aqua regia. Okay, this is used in the catalytic catalytic converter. Catalytic converter. This is uh, also used in electrical contacts, electrodes. It is used in the den dentistry also because in dentistry they do the filling of your uh, teeth. So in this filling, this platinum is used because it is hard. It is non-reactive. It is used in jewelry because it is not reactive. And as I told, this is also used to treat cancer. You will see a lot of uh, these uh, D block elements are used for treatment of cancer. The next element is gold. The best thing about gold is it is most malleable. It is most malleable metal. And that's why you must have seen the Rutherford experiment. The gold is used right? because you can make very, very thin film of gold very very thin ultra thin correct and the gold leaf can be beaten nicely so thin that it can be transparent you can actually make it transparent the gold thin uh, gold you can actually beat it into a small, very very thin film that can even be almost transparent so much believable it is it is dense, it is not hard actually, it is soft and that's why you see the jewelry from 22 carat or 20, 18 carat. See 24 carat gold is pure gold, it is soft and that's why you don't make jewelry out of that. You make some impurities to it, you make it 22 carat or 18 carat and then you make jewelry out of it because that becomes hard. 
okay so it is bright yellow in color a very few d block elements are yellow in color gold copper uh, are two example but mostly they are silvery white in color and we know that gold is not reactive and that's why we make it uh, we make jewelry out of it it doesn't react it doesn't react with uh, acid it doesn't react with base but it dissolves in aqua regia both gold and platinum dissolve in aqua regia and uh, actually this gold is something people love a lot they have uh, feelings for gold and the gold actually is used for currency also it is used actually for reserve of currency any country which publishes currency notes they reserve some gold for that for every let's suppose one dollar uh, or ten dollar uh, note published by the government they'll keep some gold in the reserve same same thing is true for any other country for india also if you uh, if the government of india publishes 500 rupee note it will, government will keep some gold for that in reserve right and most of the gold actually lie in the earth core why because it is heavy and as per the theory when earth was one melted and then slowly uh, it became hard right so once it was in melted form all this heavy metal went to the core and gold is also heavy so it went to the core so most of the heavy metal lie in the core okay because of the high density of the gold and uh, gold is called au au is what aurum aurum again is a latin word that means glow because the gold glows okay in fact only one stable isotope of gold that is 19 uh, 197 aurum this is the only stable only uh, stable isotope of gold in fact you should be surprised that there are uh, a couple of radioactive isotopes of this gold which is all, 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 all which is obvious not natural they are synthetic but they are a lot of radioactive isotopes of gold almost 36 in fact gold is synonymous to money currently also if you have gold you can easily exchange with money and that's how the trend is and as i told you used uh, uses of gold typically used in ma making jewelry also used to make medicines and uh, actually it is uh, also used for decorating uh, food items the gold leaves actually sometimes is used for food item decoration also it is also used in electronics the gold is also used in electronics and spacecraft spacecraft use this gold so that's about gold i think you know a lot about gold so not discuss much mercury mercury is again again the only metal which is uh, not hard this is almost liquidy at room temperature this is named after uh, Roman god Mercury. Mercury is a Roman god. And this Roman god was known for its speed and mobility. Speed and mobility. And if you see, this is the only metal which is mobile in two temporary. You see, this is Mercury. You can actually pour this Mercury from one jar to another jar. It's almost liquid. Right, so that's why this name came because this Roman god Mercury was known for speed and mobility, and this metal is also known for speed and mobility, and also called quicksilver. Quicksilver. So we have seen platinum was called little silver, and Mercury is called quicksilver. Okay. In fact, it is also called hydra. Shadow. So in this case, if you see, this hydra is for water, and a, a gyrum is used for silver. Okay. In fact, as I told, it's only the only metal which is liquid at standard temperature and pressure. And 
bromine is the only other element that is liquid at stp all other elements metal non metal talk about they are either solid or gas bromine is the bromine and silver are the sorry mercury yeah bromine and mercury are the only two elements which are liquid at uh, stp where my mercury is metal and bromine is non metal right the main source of mercury is cinnabar that is nothing but mercury sulfide and this please note is mercury is toxic you must have read this mercury is toxic okay this is poor conductor of heat but good conductor of electricity and actually it is used in thermometer most of the thermometer you will see that it has mercury thermometer barometer manometer all these places this mercury is used okay it is also used in medicine though it is toxic it is used in medicine little bit and it is also used for tooth filling obviously it has to mix with something else it will be uh, totally liquid it has to be hardened and this is also used in cosmetic so very is application of mercury but still mercury is toxic okay, and this is also my period 6 thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attend free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more Thanks once again.